This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, Matt here from today's iPhone.com and welcome to this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday. Let's get to it. All right, so starting us off this week, Red Snow received an update that did fix iBooks and its DRM issues, so that is good to go now. So if you want to go over and use Red Snow, it'll work and you don't have to worry about that iBooks issue that was occurring. Corona 5.0.1 also received the iBooks fix, uh, so that issue has been resolved in Corona as well for those who choose to use Corona over Red Snow. Okay guys, the next topic we're diving into is a little bit more serious and that is that currently lawmakers are looking into making jailbreaking illegal. Now in the past it has been deemed illegal and Apple still finds it illegal and it will avoid your warranty, but uh, lawmakers say it's legal. So they're reviewing it now and what I need you guys to do is go to this website, I've left the link down in the description, fill out the form, mark your comments as class 5, they don't need to be super long, just say why jailbreaking is important and it should be legal. Also, I forgot to mention that by February 10th, 5 p.m., all your comments need to be submitted to that website. After that, they will shut down and they'll be no longer taking comments. So please make the effort to do this before February 10th at 5 p.m. Now on the jailbreaking front, Spencer James, an iOS developer, is working on releasing an application called iOS Open Dev. What this is going to do is it's going to make creating common jailbreak tweaks and things like that a lot easier. They're actually going to be pretty simple. They're going to be in Xcode templates. Now, this isn't going to be something simple that everyone can do. You're going to need a little bit of expertise and knowledge behind it, but it's going to be a huge uh, step forward for those looking to make tweaks. So check out iOS Open Dev. Uh, Spencer James has reported that it should be out within the next week or so. So if you're looking for it, uh, just stay tuned to Spencer James, and I'll also update you guys next week on where iOS Open Dev is at. Okay, guys, now we're going to head into the jailbreak tweak of the week. And before we get into that, I did want to mention that that battery tweak that was out uh, in Cydia, it is fake. It does nothing for you. Uh, do not use it. I saw that people were talking about it in the comments last week. Uh, complete waste. Don't even go near it. Uh, it does not improve the battery at all. This week's Tweak of the Week winner is Belfry as it installs six stock applications that come on your iPhone onto the iPad. So that's something like clock, compass, voice memos, weather, all those applications can now be ported onto the iPad using Belfry. So that is awesome. Go check it out in Cydia, guys. Okay, guys, now before we wrap up this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday, I want to let you guys know I have not forgotten about the Windows and Mac videos of the Absinthe Jailbreak. Unfortunately, my iPhone took a dump on me, and now my computer will not install Windows. I've tried Boot Camp, VMware, so I'm still working with VMware right now. Uh, it keeps giving me a bunch of errors, and Boot Camp just doesn't want to recognize anything. So it's kind of weird. I'm working on it, but as soon as I get that stuff working, you guys will have videos. I know they'll be a year and a half late, and I'll hear complaints, but I'm going to try and get them out to you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but that is going to wrap up this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday, guys. You guys have a wonderful day, and as always, peace. Oh,